Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry about that uh, interruption, but we were getting a very poor signal there. Not sure why, but uh, we had to change lines. Now, welcome to the Wiley Drake Show. Welcome to the prayer meeting. If you would like to call and pray in your native tongue, uh, or any tongue for that matter, uh, you're welcome to call and pray. We will not criticize you. We will not stop you. We will allow you to pray. Now, whatever tongue you pray in, I may or may not understand it, but I don't have to because uh, I can understand your spirit even if I don't understand the words. Sometimes even when I pray, I pray in words that I really don't understand because they come from God. Now, give us a call. There's several ways. One is call in on the prayer line, 712-432-1690. Put in your access code, 399-430-POUND. And once you've done that, then you'll be connected to us. It will ask you to identify yourself. You do not have to, but uh, you do have to put in your access code. Put in your access code, 399-430-POUND, and join us here in this prayer meeting. Now, you can share a prayer request or a praise report. I have a praise report uh, from yesterday. 9-1-1 was a somber day yesterday. We talked yesterday with some dear, dear friends, and one of them brought up the subject that 13 years ago, more than 3,000 people perished at the hands of Muslims, bad, bad people. And uh, we're going to be talking more about Muslims here in a little bit. We're going to take a little light approach uh, from uh, my brother in Christ, a Christian, uh, who is a, a born-again Christian, loves Jesus, loves to laugh at himself and at others, and he is a comedian. And his name is Jeff Foxworthy. And so I tell you what, let's do. Let, let, let me go back uh, just for a moment, if I could. I, I want to go uh, to this uh, particular, uh, if I can, to get back to my inbox if my computer will cooperate. Right now it's doing that little squiggle, squiggle, turn around, turn around, turn around, and it's not cooperating with me. But that's okay. We'll go back to that in a minute. I think if I just get out of this, I'll be better off and go back now to uh, my email. Jeff Foxworthy is uh, a mighty uh, man of God, in my opinion. Uh, now, you may not agree with that. You may not agree with everything that he says. And I certainly, uh, I don't know anybody I agree with everything they say. <laughs> but most of what Jeff Foxworthy says, uh, I agree with. And I'm going to look here and see if I can find uh, something that I received uh, from <clears throat> my uh, very serious international intelligence briefing officer. And uh, his name is Roger Angus. But he, he sent to me something I want to share with you. He said, have you ever wondered why it's okay to make jokes about Catholics, the Pope, Jews, us Baptists, the Irish, the Italians, the Polish, the Chinese, the French, uh, including French Canadians, uh, Newfies, etc. But it's insensitive to make a joke about a Muslim. Well, we then need to level the playing field for the sake of political correctness. And uh, our dear friend, Jeff Foxworthy, talks about Muslims. Now, many of you know that Jeff talks about a lot of things. But he talks about, you might be a redneck if so-and-so and so-and-so. Now, he has a group here that I want to share with you in reference to making a little humor about our terrible, terrible people called Muslims. Number one, uh, Jeff Foxworthy says, if you refine heroin for a living, but you have a moral objection to liquor, you might be a Muslim. If you own a $3,000 machine gun and a $5,000 rocket launcher, but you can't afford shoes, 
you might be a Muslim. If you have more wives than you do teeth, you might be a Muslim. Now, this is one that you might need to tell the kids don't listen to. But uh, that's okay. I think it's true. Jeff Foxworthy says, If you wipe your butt with your bare hand, but consider bacon to be unclean, you might be a Muslim. If you think vests come in two styles, bulletproof and suicide, you might be a Muslim. Good morning and God bless you. Good morning, Pastor Wiley. Hello, this is Pastor Wiley Drake. Who is this on the air with us? Oh, this is your your old friend, Randy Massero. I don't mean to interrupt you. I'll let you go ahead and continue your show, but I just wanted to add a few things. All right, well, you're welcome to add, my friend. Uh, let me finish this. A friend of mine sent me some things, uh, Jeff Foxworthy, and Jeff is a comedian, and he says, uh, uh, you know, <laughs> he does things, if you do this, you might be a Muslim. He said, if you think vests come in two styles, bulletproof and suicide, you may be a Muslim. If you think, if you can't think of anyone you haven't declared jihad against, you might be a Muslim. If you consider television dangerous, but routinely carry explosives in your pocket, you might be a Muslim. If you are amazed to discover that cell phones have uses other than setting off roadside bombs, you might be a Muslim. If you have nothing against women and think every man should own at least four, you might be a Muslim. If you find this email offensive and don't forward it, you might be a Muslim. Well, a little tongue-in-cheek, let's get back now to the serious part of the program. Ladies and gentlemen, we're here to pray, we're here to share, and we're here to give you information, inspiration, and charge to go forward. Randy Massero is a warrior, ladies and gentlemen. He is a mighty man of God. He is a Hollywood star. He is a father, a grandfather. Uh, he is Wiley Drake's friend. He doesn't tell too many people that, but uh, uh, <laughs> he is my friend. Randy Massero, uh, God bless you, brother. What's on your mind today? Thank you, Pastor Wiley. First of all, yeah, I'm the first to say you are my friend, and I and I hold you dearly in my heart. Uh, you know, I may not be as faithful as you and a lot of your parishioners out there, but I'm coming along. I try to do do good things and want, do good deeds, but mo mostly for the animals and wildlife, the ones that don't have a voice. But I did want to call you this morning, and number one, again, thank you for coming out and joining us at the fifth annual West Coast American Indian Music Awards in Los Angeles, uh, what, a week or two ago, and also Pete Allman's uh, annual Celebrity Birthday Bash. You were fabulous. Uh, I know some people are calling me saying they don't know how to get your show uh, to, to, to watch your, your footage. I know I, I think I posted it once on Facebook. If you don't mind, to re keep reposting it and putting it on your um your your live your live stream cast where people could hit it and watch it. I've got people calling me and so they don't know how to do it. So if you don't mind maybe explaining it, maybe resending it on Facebook, reposting it everywhere you can. Okay. A lot of people are still interested we'll, would like we'll, to see it. We'll be glad to do that. But Randy, the best way to do it is just to go to Google and put in the Wiley Drake show and and then that will come up to the show and then you scroll down and look at the dates look at all the archives you'll see the one from yesterday then the day before and so forth and go back to that date uh that we were there with you and you will find uh those videos up there and uh I've forgotten what that date was now <laughs> But, uh, yeah, yeah, me too. It slips my mind. But but I wanted to commend you for a job well done. I think we need more pastors like you, Wiley, that, that uh, you know, I, I know you always keep God in mind no matter what you do. But we need more people like you out there that actually get involved in community, uh, get involved in, in the issues that are important to Americans, to people in general. And, um, you know, we need more people like you out there. Well, Randall, thank you so much for that compliment, and I do consider that, and I do receive that in the name of the Lord Jesus. But I also want everybody to know we're here to help you. If you have a cause that is a good cause, we want to help you with it. And that's why I first met Randall, because uh, he said he had a cause of, 
of helping wildlife and so forth. And so uh, if you're a wildlife lover, and we all ought to be because the Bible says God gave those animals to us, and if you're concerned over the absolute torture and misuse of many of our animals, you are indeed on the same page with us. Randall, if there are folks out there that would like to know how to get in touch with you or your organization, give them the name of your organization and websites, phone numbers, whatever you'd like to give out to them now. If they have the same kind of concerns that this pastor and this activist have, tell us how to get in touch with you, would you please? I sure will. Thank you, Pastor, for giving me that opportunity. Uh, you can Google me. You can go to Google, Bing, Yahoo, ABG, Pinterest, Ask, Zoom, and punch in Randall, R-A-N-D-A-L, Massaro, M-A-S-S-A-R-O, or look up uh, www.umpw.org. That's Union Members Preservation.